Hi guys, I'm back on Endeavor OS. I guess I still need one thing to test, really test, and that's we have our suitcase that we can take with us, and it's called the Arch Linux Tweak Tool, right? On anything Arch, and let's not in launch it like this, but let's launch it like this. And then you see on what arches you can do this. You can do this in Storm OS, Arch Linux, Arch Mambic Linux, you can read. That's the list and Endeavor OS is up here. So yeah, you can change things with a simple tool and a click. Do you learn something from it? No, right? The one that learns from it is the one that's written this code in GTK and Python. But you are just clicking, which is also good, right? You can, you can say some things like I wanna have changes or, or I like my dark arc themes and I'll just install it with a click of button or the blue ones and so on. So it's convenient. It really is. Another thing I was just thinking about SophieRam. SophieRam is also a convenient little app and I see it's not already of yet in my Arcanix Nepens script. So SophieRam, right? SophieRam and a little bit behind it, I guess. Let's see what he brings. Sofirem Git. It's on AOR. Somebody put it there. So we've got uh, the straight straight from Arcanix number two is the one I'd like to have. But you know the drill. I'll go to my second screen, right? I open Sublime Text. I have here all the files that I need. And I'll go and add it to install core software, install Arcanix software. And in here, I'll just say, add software. So that's probably something I should do. If I'm somewhere else, right? If I'm not an Arcanix, it will not be there. So, so VRAM git. That's one thing. So number two, fine. It can be installed. Basically you got um, an app, right? Sophie for short, you can launch Sophie and then you just click, 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 click or remove or install. It's up to you. It'll figure it out what's there, what's on the system, whatever system you're on, it'll find and look for apps and you just click on a button and it's, it's going to be there. So Falcon is a browser. Falcon will be installed, installing package Falcon. And that's what we do. Minus S Falcon needed, no confirm. And it's gonna be here by, via the this way. So that's interesting to have on my future Arch Linux based systems. That's software. Another thing I would like to have on my system is sudo pacman minus s Arch Linux app. And I do like the Glade variant. So there are two applications that we've made for you guys, and it's about how to create an application. There's lots of tutorials about it. And there's one created with Glade, which is a graphical user interface and one without. So let's see if I already have it in a list in my nemesis. And it's already there. So install software, Arclix app Glade kit. So I don't need to install it. Basically I say AAG. And then, yes, bingo. So Sofirem is the one I was missing. The thing about this is I can create any of the ISOs anytime I like and just click a button, create. Do you learn something from it? No, right? Create personal Arch Linux, same thing, Ariser, same thing. Installing all kinds of things, cleaning, fix the keys, apply the best server, install the keys, pacman conf, and so on. You can read and some scripting here as well. Okay, so that's going to be for is already installed with Arglix Nemesis, but I wanted actually to go, go here and come here for the Arch Linux tweet tool. So software is now included in Arglix Nemesis. In the meantime, we've got new themes. Oh, cool. New themes, right? So all kind of things. There's Dracul, which is not bad. So the purplish kind of look, um, there is pale gray. That's new slate gray. Definitely like the the dark looks. So I'm just gonna click those because this is way too bright. And well, right? Choose. Choose. Same goes for the icons. I did not close that. Close. So 
icons up here, but basically with the script of Arclinx Nemesis, they are installed. Except actually these guys, right? Show the installed icon themes. There's just this guy. One of the things. Well, yeah, why not? There's been a while since I promoted Sardi Ghost, right? Sardi Ghost is looking like this. And if you like monocoloring, and that's of course a premise, if you like normal mono look, then maybe this is something for you. Of course, there are icons in here that we don't have anything based on. You see it recently used, any of these will always stay colorful. They do not exist, right? Um, we can, it's, it's fixable, but um, later. There are some extras that we can install. So this is coming from Eric Dubois himself. So the, the repo from us, Candy Beauty Arc Mint Team can be. So it's basically the folder is red, dark tellies here, Vimix code, virus, combinations of themes that I say, what if I take this icon theme and then those folders and so on. So play around with icons. The firewall applet, it wasn't uninstalled, but it's still there in the config auto start, so gone. Themes, icons from third parties. If I want, I can get them. And it's always good to have a look at the installed fonts. So this is by default. I did, of course, um, the hack for Arcanlex for the Alacrity. So I've, I've run the Arcanlex Nemesis, right? This is, of course, the selling point, and the latest and the newest is DK. So let's try that one out. You can easily install any of those, um, well, desktop styling winner managers, right? And do your stuff with it. So basically, it's a quick way to just do a logout, do a login. We have now chdwm, xfc, and DK. So we go for DK. Control T, Super Shift Enter, uh, Super X, Super D, and Super Shift D. Right? Those are the things you need to remember. And we do have a menu in this one, which is this little button here. If you click it right, you get Roofy. This is change the background. So let's just click here. Change background, change background, change background, change background. Firefox, Discord, Telegram, and Mintstick. Okay, all the desktops are here, and some time and the exit, so we can exit. So as simple as that. You have everything you need in here, and that's the selling point, right? It's a super interesting way to quickly install a desktop, and then you change everything and overwrite it with your files, but you get something that's working out of the box and you just choose the long list that we have by now and some fixes get the probe link and so on lots of things i'm not going to go over everything but these are all choices i've set it to 20 the parallel downloads via the Arclix nemesis script simple just say replace this with that i'm going to keep their grub but we can use the Arclix grub theme so we have exactly the same look when we boot up. Login is now not SDM, but it's LightDM. We can change the colors if we want or wallpapers. Here's the wallpaper and import wallpapers. Mirrors that we have that we can enable or not. So that Arclinx mirrorless. NeoFetch, I can fake it being on blinds. I'm closing my eyes. This one, Chakra, okay. So I can apply your NeoFetch configuration and control T. I'll have a chakra look, right? Simple as that. A little bit of fun. Just a drop down. Lots of things in here. Ooh, let's do a Mac OS. I just saw something I'd like to see how that looks. Where is Mac OS? Here he is. Control T. Ha! Nice. Forgot about it. So there you go. Play around, have fun. Packages. Um, this is me. This is new, right? You can actually export packages and it's going to be telling you, let's go somewhere else. It's going to show 
what actually is on this machine. And this is now on this machine. And if I have another computer system, I can say install this long list. Basically, we're doing sudo pacman minus s, no confirm needed. And we can do that, right? We just go up here. So assuming this is a new machine, all you need to do is install packages and it goes on with installing all kinds of packages. But basically it says, oh, look at that. There are some errors there, make font scale or something. Don't see it here. No. So it's needed, no confirm. Basically, it just goes through a list that is no problem, right? So I'm going to quit this thing because everything is just is installed. So it's the intention is that you install it on a new computer system and you say, I want to have exactly the same packages that on this machine. That's the way to do it. You can activate or deactivate stuff in here. I say, I don't want to go to Arclix. That was what a big mistake, right? So if you go to update, you'll just stay up to date works as well. You just get these guys again. So pure arch, the first three, uh, sorry, the first one is an OS, then three from arch and then from Nemesis repo. So which is also personal one from Eric. So bye and update again. And we are almost pure arch, except in the OS. It's all about choices and you choose, you take control. And then privacy, we do like the extension uBlock origin and hBlock is certainly helping us not to go to a website we shouldn't be and where we get infected with all kinds of stuff. And then services, I like to switch to Pulse Audio, but I think I'm already. So let's have a look. Audio, I'm on Pipewire, right? Pulse Audio on Pipewire. So I want to switch to Pulse Audio, I'll tell him and then quit and then reboot and all that. So then you see that it's working. Bluetooth is there, install Bluetooth is installed. Blueberry is already installed and Blueman is installed as well. So one of the two is enough. So Blueman has to go for me and it's gone. Blue Devil, but then watch out for the dependencies and other stuff, other stuff just having a look together with you. We have already Bash or C, so everything's okay. Okay, and then ZSH maybe if you like to have that or fish or extra. Extra is interesting to have a look, uh, select them all, XPack and all that. They're all installed because of Arclix Nemesis, but downgrade is something too interesting for you. Ripcrap is in interesting. Why not BAT or XPack or Yay, HWW, Probe, all kinds of interesting stuff. Terminals, terminal fun. So we can do this. So we can that. <laughs> now we have a, a, a peach, more or less, right? <laughs> it's not an apple anymore. Just having some fun. This is actually a new one, high fetch. Let's try it and see if that works. This is high fetch. Press enter to ignore. Enter, 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 enter. And I got this. <laughs> so neo fetch is still there. It's still bugging us with well the neo fetch from the setting up there well you test it out without um, doing well whatever I did into neo fetch I was thinking maybe we can just say auto again apply your neo fetch is that enough uh, I don't think so although it is enough the coloring is a rainbow yep that's high fetch true so well, that's high fetch. Maybe look you like. <laughs> well, of course you can adjust. Press enter, 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 enter. You can choose between thirty-ish designs. Themer. If you install i3 and if you install awesome or left only or in Qtel, you can just click in the in the menu and then install. For instance, add polybar to i3. Normally we keep this bar pure i3, but there is a possibility. Say bye bye menu. Welcome polybar at the top. And voila, and create a user. So I guess we're good, good to go. What I like to test and might run into issues, but that's that then. Um, 
I don't know what this thing is. I guess it's lithium. But of course, there is more. Pseudo Pac-Man minus, minus remove. Look at that. Light. Okay, no. Light. It's a slick reader. Okay, so the slick reader is available. That's cool. So we have here also the slick reader. So that's not going to be an issue. And LXDM and the wallpaper if you want to select it. So light DM. Let's see if we get on something green. Select and apply. And then we quit this thing. Super X, log out. And it works. Cool. I was in doubt. <laughs> I sung the surprise. I was crossing my fingers here. Voila. Another test. And um, as you see, Variety is providing me with beautiful wallpapers. I mean, it's just great that it exists. I've already donated to the guy. It really is fantastic. So these wallpapers have all been downloaded. Didn't do a thing. Maybe you see in here, nice stuff. And yes, I want to have that nice stuff too. All right, install Variety, learn how to get the images from Wallhaven and you're in control of your system. All right, cheers.